And probably everybody here has seen these graphs in the Sunday paper talking about overdose deaths. And if you look at this going from 1999 to 2016, you can see that all the lines are growing up. And I have an arrow pointing to the gray line, which is deaths from prescription pills. And that has been relatively stable until the mid 2000s and started climbing um, and has sort of peaked out um, around 2015 and 2016. And then what took over is the next two, which are heroin and fentanyl, which are actually very often one and the same. Um, heroin contaminated with fentanyl is the leading cause of opioid overdose deaths at this time. And as you can see, that blue line is shooting straight up and it has not flattened out. <coughs> and that is the major problem. People have become addicted to opioids um, for a lot of different reasons. Um, they turn to heroin and they're not buying heroin, they're actually buying fentanyl. And you may actually have seen on TV that you can buy a test strip now to tell you whether or not your heroin has fentanyl in it. And the recommendation is that uh, if you find that your heroin has fentanyl in it, you just throw it away and don't use it. And I can guarantee you that is not, not what's happening. And what's the response been? The response of the government has been to limit opioid prescribing. And if you look at this graph, the top and the bottom line are both showing the same thing, low dose and high dose pills. The number of pills prescribed in the US is going down. And that takes us all the way out to 2017. So the green line at the bottom, or the green arrow, points to the high dose opioids and the top line points to all opioids and everything says that things are working out because we're prescribing fewer pills. And this also is true in Michigan. If you look at the top purple line, you can see that the number of pills prescribed is leveling off and is now starting to go down. But look at the red line below it. Deaths are going up. So despite the fact that prescription pills are going down, number of deaths are going up. This is like, if, for example, if today we banned tobacco, we would expect lung cancer to decrease, it wouldn't. It would stay the same, and it might even increase if people went out and started buying illicit tobacco products that actually cause more harm. So just controlling prescription pills has had no benefit, or some people say even made the situation worse. And opioids have been leveling off, deaths are going up, it's due to fentanyl, Patients that you meet will say at a certain point, I couldn't afford Norco or I couldn't get Norco or my doctor got arrested. So they turn to heroin and they're being exposed to fentanyl. Um, conservatively, half the heroin in southeastern Michigan has fentanyl. And some people claim that in Washtenaw County, it's close to 100%. And this is an article by some uh, big craniums um, at the American Journal of Public Health that estimates that things are gonna get worse for the next five to 10 years before they get better um, because we have created a generation of prescription pill addicts that are turning to other illicit drugs and only in the future when this generation is gone, one way or the other, the new generation may not have the same chance of being addicted. And if you've been following the new trends, the new trends are stimulants and you know that this simply is not true. People are simply switching to a different drug. So when I say provider, um, I have to say provider, I can't say doctor because my wife is a nurse practitioner. I wanna stay out of trouble. So provider means doctor, nurse practitioner, physician's assistant, anybody really who has a DEA. So our providers, the reasons behind the opioid epidemic. And it's easy to turn around and say, no, this is due to big pharma and this graph shows opioid sales on top, opioid deaths in the middle, and opioid treatment admissions in the bottom. They're all the same line. So you can say that this was driven by Big Pharma who pushed sales of Oxycontin and Hydrocodone, and that's been the result of the, the opioid, resulted in the opioid crisis. But unless the medication that people have become addicted to fell off the back of the truck, or was purchased on the internet, it all came from prescriptions. So all the pills that we have floating around here, um, with those two exceptions, are written by somebody sometime, 
and winding up either in the wrong hands or abused by the person that they were prescribed for.